Today, we're gonna walk through the process of setting up a Google Chromecast Ultra. Stick around. The Chromecast Ultra, despite being out of stock everywhere and being phased out by the 2020 release of Chromecast with Google TV, is still a great little casting device and so far the only one that still supports Google Stadia. So in today's video, we're gonna walk step by step and show you guys how to set up and configure your Chromecast Ultra. Let's begin. To get started, of course, plug in the Chromecast to your HDMI uh, input of choice and plug it into a power outlet. Now, if you're paying attention on the actual power brick, you'll notice that there was an ethernet port for an ethernet cable. If you do have the ability to run an ethernet cable from your, route, uh, your router or your modem over to the power brick, that would be ideal. If not, you could always use a nice, uh, a good signal for a five gigahertz network because a 2.4 network doesn't typically give you the bandwidth it needs because this is a 4K streaming device and you may end up uh, getting some buffering. Now to get started again, you're gonna want to of course download the app. As you can see, we've got the Chromecast here booted up. It says get the app, download, open up the Google app. You'll navigate to the appropriate app store and download the application. Now once you've done that, you're gonna want to fire up that app if you have already you will need to log in with a Google account where I've already gone through and I've set up my home and I've done the initial steps of the Google Home uh, application. Now once you've done that and the Chromecast is all booted up you're gonna get a notification on there that says to set up the device. So what we're gonna do here is on the app we're gonna click on where it says set up two devices. You're gonna want to choose your home so we're gonna go ahead and tap on next and it's gonna start looking for devices. If you look in the bottom right hand corner of your TV, it's gonna give you basically a identifier of which Chromecast Ultra this is. So in this case, you can see that it's 4685. And if you look on your app, once it's gone through and scanned for that Ultra device, you can see, would you like to set up Chromecast Ultra 4685? From here, I'm gonna go ahead and tap on yes. If you don't see it, you may want to try searching for it again or you're gonna to want to tap on where it says set up a different device. Mine found it, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on yes. Connecting to Chromecast Ultra, your phone or tablet may disconnect from Wi-Fi during setup. Perfect, on the app, as you can see, it says see the code on your TV, seeing M2W8 lets you know you're connected to the right Chromecast Ultra. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that that code is matching. If it does, you're gonna to want to click yes. If not, you're gonna to want to click on no and try that process again. So here we're gonna tap on yes. Uh, you're gonna want to read through the additional legal terms. If I'm gonna tap on I agree. Help improve Chromecast Ultra, this is up to you. Automatically share device stats. I'm gonna tap on no thanks. Where is this device? Choose a location for your Chromecast Ultra. So you're just gonna choose where this is at. In this case, it is the living room. If you do want to choose or create a new one, you can scroll down through that list choose one of those under custom or go all the way to the bottom and add a custom name. And then we're gonna tap on next. Connect to Wi-Fi, choose the Wi-Fi network you'd like to use with your Chromecast Ultra. If you are plugged in via an ethernet cable, you may not be getting this step and it may be proceeding to the next one. But for me, since I will be connecting it to a five gigahertz network, I'm gonna tap on my network and tap on next. Remember the password for this Wi-Fi network for setting up future devices. This is of course up to you. I'm gonna untick the box and tap on next. Now, if you've already been connected to that Wi-Fi network with your phone, it should automatically bring over those credentials and you shouldn't have to type those in manually. If it does ask you to do so, just type in your uh, Wi-Fi password and it should start connecting and giving you this page that you can see on the screen where it says updating hang tight. This will take a few minutes. Looks like we've got an update that needs to take place. And then on the phone, you can see linking your Chromecast Ultra. Your Chromecast Ultra uses your Google account to personalize. You can tap on next. And then you can go ahead and go through, sign on it. It's just gonna give you some more information about Google Partner Services, your privacy, all that good stuff. Tap on next once again. Your device comes with a 14 day of ad for YouTube. If you wanna sign up for that, you're more than welcome to. I'm just gonna click on no thanks. And link radio services. Again, you can add radio services. I'm gonna tap no thanks as well. Link video services, not now and Sling TV, not now. So there, there's a few ads on there that you'll want to go through and just set up at, if you want them. Almost done, here's a review of what you set up. You've set up the devices and you've set up the Wi-Fi. We're gonna go ahead and tap on continue while the Chromecast in the background is rebooting. It's finishing the update and it's gonna re reboot the device one more time. Now, if you've purchased this kit in a Google Stadia account, it's gonna ask you to set up the Google Stadia controller, which you can see right here on the screen. I did get this in a Google Stadia kit. However, we're not gonna set up that controller in this video. This was just strictly for the Chromecast Ultra setup. But now, this is gonna be the home screen on the TV that you can see for the Chromecast. So, 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through here on the app and find something that we can cast. So if you go on to like a YouTube, we'll type on, we'll do a Leon Lush video. Leon, if you're out there watching Boo Boo, I got you fam. So you can see we've got the video loaded right here and if we just tap on the main video, we've got some icons up in the top right hand corner. We're gonna click on the one that looks like a TV with kind of some wireless signal. We'll tap on that and it's gonna ask you what you would like to cast to. So we're gonna go ahead and choose the one that says Living Room TV. Now you can see that YouTube has taken over on the Chromecast Ultra. And everything is starting to cast over to the screen. And of course to stop it again, you can just tap on the main again, tap on that same little icon and you can click on where it says disconnect and it will go back to the main Google screen. And just like that, it is easy to set up and easy to use. Now, you know what isn't being phased out like the Chromecast Ultra? That's right, our merch. In fact, over the holiday season, we just added a few more items, so be sure to head on over to shop.helpcloud.com and check it out. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this week's tech tutorial, how-to tutorial thing, whatever it is that you want to call it. We'd love to have you here at the community, so if you got something out of this video, be sure to like, share, and of course, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Peace. <gasps>